This year, I am excited to say I'm going to be filming 10 of my professional events and publishing them here on YouTube. I've never filmed myself competing in professional events before and I am going to be nervous. However, ultimately, I think it's going to be rewarding for me and for you guys watching. Now, hopefully this will show a side of professional golf that a lot of people just won't see. Local, region, PGA professional competitions. So let me explain what is going to happen. So the PGA in Lancashire has launched the Players Tour. This is a series of 10 events throughout the year in the county of, you guessed it, Lancashire. There are of course individual accolades to play for but also at the end of the season there is the Order of Merit and the race to Hurlston Hall. So we're starting with the media day at Hurlston Hall and then finishing with an event at the same venue. But you do have to qualify for that so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Having a look through the diary it looks like I'm going to be able to play in eight of the qualifying Order of Merit events. So that's going to give us a good chunk of tournaments to film, but it's also going to allow us to have a go at chasing down that order of merit. And all of this, of course, is really good training for the quest for the Open. So I've been doing Open qualifying for about six years now, and the process is very simple. So you have one round at regional qualifying, which you have to get through. You then have two rounds at final qualifying. If you get through that, you're in the Open. So technically, three rounds away. Now I've recorded Quest for the Open videos before, but this series is going to be a lot different and hopefully a lot better. So we're at Hurlston Hall today and it's the launch of the tour. We're not playing a proper, proper comp. It's just a nine hole event. I'm actually teaming up with Andy Palmer for a Texas Scramble type of format, which we'll explain in a moment. It's going to be nice to actually play with Andy rather than him beating me every single event. There's going to be commentary, there's going to be birdies, and if you like the sound of these videos, wallop that like button and be a subscriber to this channel. So the 10th hole at Hurlston is not an ideal hole to start on. There's out of bounds left, there's a nasty bunker and a water hazard to the right, and you've got to drive it far enough to get close to a big pond in the middle of the fairway. If you manage to get it close, that gives you a shortish approach into a McKenzie green as a starting hole. It's not easy. So we actually ended up taking my tee shot, even though I did spaff it off to the right hand side here. It finished just short of a bunker, which actually opened up a decent line into the green, although we were still 180 yards in. Andy, he hit his tee shot, he hit a driving iron and he went a little bit off to the left hand side. So here's my approach in. I hit a five iron. Uh, it did end up coming short. It really emphasized the importance of actually having a warm up before this round because going out to those temperatures, hitting long irons and difficult tee shots straight away, it really wasn't great. It didn't affect Andy too much though. My wonderful, wonderful partner who managed to hit a five iron in. I hit it pretty close actually. It pitched about three foot away from the pin and then rolled up to the back of the green. So it was a couple of putts for birdie in a scramble. You know, you get a shot each at the selected best shot from the previous shot. Glad that makes sense. So we had two chances at birdie. I gave mine a good go. He just dribbled past the left edge. Now the 11th hole, this is an absolute brute of a par five. So the 11th hole is a true par five. It's about 600 yards off the back. And today we are talking about minus three wind chill conditions into wind up the hill. It's not easy. So you've got to hit your approach down into the fairway. It's just a layup and then it's a wedge onto the green. I've never birded this hole ever. Maybe today will be the day. Second drive of the day. This was a bit of a weak one out to the right hand side. In the studio here and in my practice, I've been managing to get my swing speeds up. These first few holes were very much down um, by the low hundreds I imagine. Uh, Andy did actually manage to hit a really good drive down the center of the fairway though which set us up for just this layup. So I had a three wood here up the hill. I gave it uh, quite a lot of beans actually just to cover this fairway bunker straight in the middle of the fairway and this left us about 80 yards in so just a couple of chipped wedges. I actually hit like a little knockdown 50 degree here which was pin high but I'm happy with my distance control but as you can see from where that's finished it was a long way right of the pin. I gave it a good put, but as it slowed down, it just bobbled off to the left. The greens at Hurlston, you know, they're a good few weeks away from being absolutely prime. We've just had a terrible winter. I toe shanked pretty much this tee shot on the par three 12th. It managed to just about clamber on that front edge. And I hit actually really good approach put. I've been doing a lot of practice indoors 
but again, I've not been able to get out onto practice greens to see what I'm like over this distance. So it was nice to actually hit one close. The 14th hole is very, very tight. This is not a hole usually which you take a driver. If it is downwind, you can get quite close, but because it was a pro scramble, we both took driver out and we both gave it a biff. We did end up taking Andy's ball. Mine spooned off into the trees while his was just off the side of the fairway. So my wedge shot here, again, this is the one we ended up using good distance control, but a long way right. It was like a slice with a 50 degree wedge. You can see the wind was blowing around a bit. The conditions were tough. It was really, really, really tough out there. I hit a decent putt, just not enough pace and it trailed off. So again, another par. So up until this point, we are level par, which for a scramble isn't ideal. The 15th here is a very tough hole. Uh, there's out of bounds left, there's trees on the right hand side. It requires a nice delicate drive to be threaded through the gap in the middle and find the fairway. Unfortunately, that is not what happened. We both spaffed our tee shots into the right hand trees, but it was at this point where I just about started to relax. So I was in the trees on the right hand side, pin was near the back, so I actually had about 160 to go. And I just hit this lovely little cut into the pin. It was definitely the best shot of the day so far, and it just relaxed me a little bit. So it gave me a putt of about 12 foot. Again, I hit a decent one, and it just at the last minute slipped by the edge. There was quite a lot of break on the greens at Hurlston Hall, so we again ended that hole with a par, but I did sense that things were about to change. 16th hole, 180 yard par three into wind, and I just hit this little drawy six iron, and as you can see from the video here, I almost slam dunked it. So that just left me a little put down the green, about three foot, which I whacked straight into the middle. So that put us one under par. Now the 17th at Hurlston Hall, this is a very, very good tee shot. So it's a dog leg to the right, but there's actually a lot of room up there if you're brave enough to launch it up and over the trees. And I was feeling a little bit looser, so I thought it was time to actually unleash one. So my target line here is the dark tree in the background and then just trying to cut it off that. It came out a little bit further right than I wanted, but it ended up being absolutely perfect. Me and Andy were actually side by side and I was about 50 yards away from the pin. And from my angle, this pitch, it really did look like it was gonna go in. It just slipped by the right edge. We're not gonna talk too much about this putt I had for birdie as I tried to hit it so hard. I tried to flip the green over. Fortunately, Andy, my wonderful partner, held his nerve, slotted it in for another birdie, so we were two under going down the 18th. The 18th hole here, there's outer bounds and a water hazard left, bunkers left, so if you're gonna miss, you wanna be off to the right-hand side. These water hazards are in play in the summer if the hole is downwind, and every time I have played it, it has been downwind. They're about 350 yards off the tee, but if it's baked out, it can get quite close. But if you get it close to those, you're just left with a short iron into the green. We ended up with Andy's tee shot on the last heat. It strengthened with the fairway. I pulled it left over the bunkers and it left us with an eight iron into the green. We both hit it a little bit thin, a little bit skinny, but Andy just managed to clamber his onto the green. We both hit pretty mediocre putts. Mine actually took quite a big bobble as soon as I hit it. I think there might've been an old pitch mark there. And it's at this point where I made a real mistake. So in scramble, if you're going first, you mark the position from where you've just hit the ball. If not, your partner has no official measurement of where the ball was just hit from. And on this last putt, I didn't put a marker down. So if I'd have missed, Andy wouldn't have got another go at holding this putt. But fortunately, four and a half foot up the hill, best putt of the day, smashed it in the back for three under par. But on a tough and testing day, would that be good enough to actually win 
this pro scramble. Right, so you've just won PJ in Lancashire, Players Tour, Media Day, Texas Scramble, Nine Hole Championship. Big title. <laughs> So we've started off the quest for the Open Series this year with a win, which doesn't actually count towards anything in which my partner was definitely the anchor. But that doesn't make a difference. A win is a win. So I'm really excited to be bringing this series to you. Make sure that you are a subscriber to the channel and you hit that bell icon. Smash the like button if you're looking forward to more of these videos. And the first 18 hole individual comp will be dropping in a few weeks. So thank you so, so much for watching. Really excited about this players tour. I'll see you down here next time.